Hello, it's Matt from Whatcast again, and uh, I'm going to take another day off here of um, doing videos and podcasts, having a bit of a laugh about things and stuff like that, and uh, try and do another one of these videos where I try and help people to make decisions that I struggled with when I first started podcasting and things like that, and choices that I had to make, and I wish I'd had advice to do, and mistakes that I'd made, and I've already done one on mics, a couple of mics, you can go look at that. Uh, on my channel here and I'm going to do some more in the future about other decisions that uh, I made that were wrong decisions I made that were right and uh, choices that I made that I wish I hadn't made and things that I wish I'd have known and I wish people would have told me now I ain't no expert in none of this I've been podcasting for about a year I've learned enough to be able to speak on it I think um, so today I'm going to do a video between Anchor a podcast host and Buzzsprout. I've used them both. I currently use them both for different podcasts. I've got the Daily What on Anchor that I've just started a few weeks, a couple of weeks ago. And I've got Whatcast on Buzzsprout, which is the one I've been doing since last March. It's now this March. So coming up for the year anniversary of Whatcast. So if you're like starting out on a podcast, I'm going to show you both of them in a sec. If you're starting out trying to do, if you're thinking about doing a podcast, you're not really sure who to go with. You want, Should I distribute it? The RSS feed, should I do it myself and all this? Um, and you don't want to spend any money. You don't know if you're going to carry on podcast and you've got all these questions and you see Anchor. So Anchor comes up all the time um, as a solution to this because it's completely free service, right? Um there's pros and cons to both, which I'll get to later. But uh, Anchor, I think it's a good place to start if you're really not sure what you're going to do and you've got confidence problems and you're not sure if you can speak uh, on your own or if you've got a guess, you're not really sure the best way to record. You can record. There's lots of good things about Anchor that you can use that can solve a lot of these problems if you're not sure how to edit properly, if you're not sure... Um, how to add little uh, sound effects and stuff like that. A lot of them are on Anchor. So let's have a quick look here uh, at the Anchor site that I use to see what kind of features it's got, right? So this is my podcast. I'm not going to go into great detail here about my stuff, but I've only just started doing this. So this is the page you get here, right? So you kind of, you sign into to Anchor, you sign up for it, you, you put your little picture in of your podcast and all this kind of stuff. And it distributes it automatically for you on Anchor, right? Which ain't bad for the for the money, because uh, it really ain't don't cost you nothing. And it distributes it. It says it at, at the moment. My one's available on six platforms. You can go into that, and it will show you them all. And the RSS uh, feed for all of them, and all this kind of thing. Hardly any views at the minute. It's brand new podcast. But it shows you it's got analy analytics. Spit it out. Analytics with it, right? So this is the basic analytics, right? It gives you a bit of a, if you go along, it tells you what's what on what day and everything like that. You can do it over a longer period of time. There's a little bit of a chart here, right? It tells you, it gives you some analytics on your listeners here. So it will tell you where, so is that 48% of them from United States, 44% United Kingdom, Ireland, 5% Italy, 1%. That's it so far with this. It tells you, it breaks down a bit of a pie chart here. Uh, tells your devices there you can go into that and it's got another chart to your iphone android or other so it's a bit very basic doesn't tell you much you know other could be anything couldn't it so iphone or android oh what do you listen on oh i listen on other don't i so this is but this is what you it's nothing it doesn't cost you anything right so if you're not really sure about it, just want to get some podcasts out there it's not a bad idea to get on it. But all of these stats, incidentally, come from Spotify because Spotify actually own Anchor. Uh, so if you distribute your podcast on Anchor, it goes straight to, they, they distribute it straight to Spotify almost immediately. With other platforms, uh, it takes sometimes up to a couple of weeks to distribute it to the other places like Apple. Apple, they never tell you. They're supposed to tell you. Uh, Anchor, I've, I've dealt with these this company twice with two different podcasts, and they never tell you when you're on Apple. But uh, you just appear there. It's pretty much instant. It's a couple of days, maybe a day. But they, they say, oh, we'll email you. When, whenever you're on a new platform, we'll send you an email. But you don't. They don't send you it. You, you get on Spotify. You get a few other places that you go. Uh, it's all it's all free, so it's, it's it's a good. I'm not going to knock it. 
if you want to start podcast, if you don't know, if you haven't got the equipment and stuff, you could just record these straight onto your phone. It's got a few little apps. It's, it's got an app on your phone for um, Anchor and you can record straight into your app on your phone with no microphones or anything like that and you can distribute it straight from your phone. There's no messing about. If you want to podcast and talk about something, it could be your solution. Um, and I started with Anchor. It was free. I couldn't see anything wrong with it. And uh, you start to get a bit frustrated when you start to learn a bit more about podcasts. If, you, if your podcast lasts the test of time and you enjoy doing it and you get more guests and you get more shows, you start your listeners start growing, you start seeing people popping up from other parts of the world. You think, is Anchor, I've outgrown Anchor. A lot of people do this, right? You think, Anchor, I don't really want to do Anchor no more. Uh, it's a bit shit. It's not. But when you start realizing more about, pod and you see other people, you start to connect with other podcasters, and they start showing you all these stats that they've got and all these countries. And you think, where are they getting these maps from and stuff? I don't see any of this stuff. And you don't get any of that with Anchor, especially not on the mobile app, on the, on the, on the desktop here. It's a little bit better, a little bit, not much. So I moved my original, not the daily what, I moved my whatcast, my, my original podcast over to Buzzsprout, right? And this is a difference, you'll see this, right? So uh, here we get a map and it tells you all of your listeners in all of these different places. Um, Europe, 35% North America, you get very good analytics on it. It's uh, a lot different. It's got to mention quickly. Uh, it tells you all the figures down here for all of the com combined. And it's got even cities and stuff like this, right, from around the world. It tells you where people are listening from, what devices they're on. But Buzzsprout is not a free service. It is a free service. You can get a free uh, version of it. But it's... You only get two hours, I think, a month to recall. So you can... If you only put half hour out a week... Say, for instance, you can use Buzzsprout. I don't know if you, I think you still get all the analytics, but they only carry your podcast for 90 days, then they're gone. So wherever you distribute them to, 90 days, like three months later, phew, disappeared, they're gone, you've lost them. So you have to have a paid service, really, on, on Buzzsprout. Um, There's the, the, the reasonably priced. I pay about 20 quid. £20 a month, so about $25, I think it is, a month. You can add other features to that. The, uh, there's some good features you can add to pay a few more quid, a couple more dollars uh, for them to master it for you and stuff like this. But the best thing about it is the analytics, really. Um, but I'll give you a bigger example here. I'll go into one of my episodes here. So this is one I did. You can see the sort of shows that we do, Pizza Gate, etc. cetera. Um, and here you go. So it tells you a chart going across all from last July, telling you all the downloads and stuff like this. And then you go down here, it tells you another thing, you get a website with Buzzsprout. So you get your own website for your podcast. And if you can see on this show, over a thousand people from that website, from, from my Buzzsprout site, which gets obviously shared on Google, and they get it from there much more than anywhere else. Look at that. You haven't got that on Anchor. That's not, that's not that discoverable. You get, uh, it distributes to way more places on bus break. You pay for it. You get what you pay for, they say, as they say. But you've got all your analytics down there. All this, it's all one episode. So here's your charts for everything where, where they've listened, what devices they've listened on or down here. Um, so you've got see all devices you can see exactly what it's no no other down here it's like apple iphones android windows computer android tablet apple watch apple ipod unknown smart tv there's a bit of an unknown stuff there and it's got other ones here computer unknown watch smart speaker smart tv and then you've got all your countries and everything then you've got all your towns and cities from all around the world and exactly you can all you get regular listeners you can almost tell who's listened and when on buzzsprout because it's some people you only get like one from a certain town and you can say oh they've listened this week and it's quite quite good it's more motivating to get that kind of thing uh with your podcast because then you, you feel more like you know who you're talking to on your podcasts rather than uh kind of guessing oh there's one from america i wonder where that was i wonder if they listened I and mean, you can see all the analytics on this it's very anchor is very basic versus buzzsprout 
but it has got its bonuses. Uh, like for example, it's free. It's endless. So on Anchor, you can use. Uh, well, I'll get into the pros and cons in a minute. But you don't get the bandwidth on Anchor. You just make as many. Sh- you can make it one show a day if you want. This is why I chose Anchor to make the daily what. Because originally I was going to do the daily what once a day. I don't ever get time to do that. So I don't, and I've ended up doing it about twice a week. So it's kind of pointless putting it on Anchor, and it doesn't distribute it to the places I want it. So I end up putting it on my feed on Whatcast anyway most of the time, so people can hear it there. But uh, Buzzsprout, more for let's get let's get into the pros and cons right now, okay? So with Anchor, so I'll get into the pros with Anchor. So first, the biggest pro, if you're going to choose between these two podcast hosts right the biggest pro with anchor is that they've got an app like i really think that buzzsprout need an app i've kind of saved it to my smartphone uh, screen the the website so you can click it like it's an app but it doesn't work like an app like you're not getting notifications of stuff you're not getting any of this stuff that you get with anchor uh the app is is the main thing the ease of ease of use for app for anchor if you're a brand new podcaster and you want to just try it out it's probably the one you're going to go for probably you pro- most people do um the, it's easy to use anchor as well so you go and you, you don't i didn't know a single thing about podcasting when i first used anchor i was i didn't know how to edit i didn't know how to do anything i just used anchor and uh i recorded it um from i was doing remote well i still do most of the time so it's either through skype or through zoom when you're speaking to other people and have you, when you have your guests on and then you just record it directly from there and then you can just put it onto, you can pull up Anchor on your computer and you can put it straight onto there. I don't know how you would do that. I guess on your phone, if you recorded on Skype, you could still do it and drag it and put it into the Anchor app and, and put it out as an episode there. I don't know how you'd edit it on there. It's got editing features, very basic though, very basic. Uh, you can record using your phone, so you don't need a microphone or nothing like that. You can just hold your phone up and do your podcast sitting like this and press publish and you send it. It goes to Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts and things like that. Just like that. It's really easy. Uh, and you also, uh, with another pro with, with Anchor, is you've got sounds and stuff. So... Uh, like there's little, there's little, uh, you can put, uh, what are they called interludes and things like this on, right? And um, you can have things that, that break the show up. They're all, they're all free with Anchor. You can just add them to the show and if you put the beginning, my, like when I first started making podcasts, I had this really crap sound. That, and that was the, my, my theme tune for my show. That was all I knew how to do because I was I never had a clue. And I was on Anchor and it was already there and I thought, oh, I'm going to pick that. I'll use that at the start and end the show and it will sound better than just me starting talking from nowhere. So you can do things like that on Anchor. Um, the biggest, uh, the best thing about it is it, it's free. That's the best thing about it. But it does distribute autumn. You, you must make sure when you go, if you start with Anchor, or if you stay with Anchor, you might, some people stay with Anchor forever and they love it. But if you go on Anchor, um, you can, uh, t- when you first sign up, there's a distribute automatically or distribute manually. So you can dis- distribute your podcast yourself if you know what you're doing. Unlikely, if you know what you're doing, that you'd be using Anchor. In my opinion, right? you might like Anchor. Don't get offended by that. Because people just get offended about everything these days. I'm just it's just an opinion, right? Uh, get them to automatically um, distribute it to everybody for you. If you want to, then get into it later on and distribute it uh, to other uh, podcast places. Then you can do that yourself later once you learn how to do it and you learn about RSS feeds and things like that. Then you can do it. But before that, I wouldn't. I just let them do it. But they don't distribute to too many places. So now we're going to get into the cons of Anchor, right? The analytics on Anchor are crap. Let's be honest, right? You just saw them. You can see uh, the Buzzsprout ones, even that one page. That one page there, uh, there's so much more you can see on Buzzsprout, but I didn't want to go in to go through it too much. That page is probably as the, as the on its own is better than the analytics you get on Anchor. Like you, it's very, very basic. Let's have a quick look. Get back to Anchor here. Like the analytics on there 
not worth it. But they're basically only giving you information from um, from Spotify. It's very bland. You don't. It's does not interesting. You don't know anything other than countries. You don't know anything about locations. They'll give you a little bit there about the amount of people that have listened that day and stuff. But it, it's really. Uh, ain't that good another thing about it is it takes forever to show on some platforms so what i mean by that is i've always noticed not so much the first time i used anchor but this time when i'm making the daily what i'm trying to put it out and i want it it's, it's daily what is the, the podcast that one i'm doing is, is about current events and things that are trending at that moment oh it's trending i'll get it out which is a video that i'll do in the future about people telling you not to do podcasts about trends that don't work they do work i try to put trending titles on them so people they're much more searchable but the trouble is it's self-defeating because uh it goes it pretty much instantly goes to apple and it pretty much instantly goes to spotify right which is probably the main two but all of the others it can be days before you see it on there it that that, that episode will, will take days and it's no good. It's no good if you're trying to put a show out and you want to see how it's doing and you want to make a splash and put some shows out. Maybe you want to did put your first few shows out straight away, seven at once, like people advise you to do sometimes or things like that. Um, no, nah. it, it, it's way too slow uh, putting them out. Also, uh, it takes only, it doesn't distribute to many either, uh, to be honest, like six or seven, I think it goes to. It ain't very good. In comparison to other podcast hosts, the automatic distrib distribution, it, you, 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 you're starting at a disadvantage unless you want to learn how to distribute it yourself, um, which you probably won't want to do because it's what you, what you have these podcast hosts for. Uh, a big problem with it is it takes uh, ownership of your podcast. It try, it's, it's, it's not doing it in a sinister way. It's trying to make it as easy as possible. So it will claim your podcast for you on Apple and things like that. So as much as all you, if all you want to do is see how many people are listening, it's not going to be a problem. If you want to actually uh, move forward with your podcast in the future, it does cause some problems because you have to then go claim it back uh, when you want to actually move up and start seeing proper stats. It may be directly from Apple or maybe from Spotify, right? So uh, it, it claims your podcast as, it, as its podcast, if you know what I mean. It does do that. Uh, people, t I didn't know what they were talking about when people told me that. I had some problems leaving Apple the first time. Another, another con. Um, I don't know if I just didn't know enough, but I didn't. Uh, I left. I just transferred everything to Buzzsprout. Buzzsprout did their part, and then I was discovering I wasn't getting any kind of analytics or any kind of listens or any kind of data from Spotify. And I had to, it took me weeks to figure out what had actually happened. And Anchor wasn't very helpful about it. And um, it was a bit of a pain in the ass. So I had to figure it all out for myself, go in and change a few things where they'd, where they'd claimed my podcast uh, on Spotify. And I, I had struggled to claim it back. Sorted out now. It didn't take long. It wasn't a massive headache, but a bit of a pain. And they wasn't uh, particularly quick in coming back to me because I was leaving. Um a big problem for me in the UK from Anchor is there's no ability to monetize. Uh, I haven't, still haven't monetized on anything, to be honest, because I, that's another thing I'll get into in, in a later video as to why that I haven't, why I haven't tried to. Because it, I will in the future, but at, at, why, at my level, at the, where I am now, I haven't tried to do it. But I wanted to, to future-proof myself. I wanted to leave um, the Anchor, because there is, outside of the US, there's no ability to monetize. You can't do it. So if you're in the US and you want to monetize, they, 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 you can you can do a speaking advert for Anchor straight away from episode one. So it might be a good idea if, if you think you're going to get a show that's going to get quite popular, if you've got a niche topic or something, you might want to get on there and uh, monetize straight away, read out your little Anchor app, uh, Anchor advert, should I say. And um, yeah, might do might be lucrative for you in the long run I'm not sure but it doesn't work for me I don't live in the US so and another thing that bugs me it's not what would bug you or or anything about you starting a podcast on anchor but what bugs me is the fact that uh for some reason I don't know if this is still true but people go on anchor and they'll make five or six podcasts won't get listeners and then they'll just give up the podcast will stay there 
So that podcast will then forever be, because there's no limit to how long your podcasts remain from Anchor, even though it's free, uh, they just stay there. So they're searchable forever. And it just clutters up everywhere. If people are trying to search your podcast, these other podcasts will just keep coming up that don't exist anymore because they made them on Anchor and they never went away. They're just there. The podcast, the host of the podcast that made the podcast has buggered off and done something else with their life. And they don't even know their podcast still sitting there, lost interest in it. The rest of us have got to sift through all of this stuff to find actual podcasts that are still up and running and relevant and current. And Anchor just clogs up the market. It's, it's, it's not good. They need to figure something out. If something remains inactive, they need to get it out of there because it's just a pain for everybody else. People just give up and leave it on there and it stays and it's just annoying. Anyway, over to Buzzsprout now, right? So there's me analytics again, just to get a Buzzsprout screen up. No particular reason. It's just going to be me talking and you kind of looking at that, right? So Buzzsprout. So I, that pros for Buzzsprout, right? That's really easy to, it's just as easy to use, I believe, as Anchor. You can't do recordings on it with your phone and stuff like this. But once you know what you're doing with podcasts, you won't want to do that anyway. And you can record uh, on your sound and voice memos on your phone if you really want to do a podcast out and about, which is what me and my co-host Conspiracy Lee are thinking of doing in the future once these lockdowns are over, taking it to the pub and whatever and doing a little bit of a Q&A with people in the pub putting it on the podcast still recording the rest of the podcast in a studio but you know doing other other features on the podcast uh you can still do it on your phone and load it onto buzz sprouts there's a way around it you can do it but you can't record onto an app because there isn't an app right um the magic mastering that's one, right? So they've got this feature on Buzzsprout that if you don't, if you're not into, which I'm not, if you're not into, uh, I, I like doing the audio side of things, but I don't understand it that well at the moment. I'm learning about it quite rapidly. But if you want to take a shortcut with that, you can just go to Buzzsprout and you can just add it for a few pound a month a few dollars you can add magic mastering um to your podcast and they will master it for you so the levels will get a bit better it'll be there's it's probably very minor what they do but it does make a difference if you're if you're working with a co-host you both got different mics like oh, i'm i've got some good stuff uh, soon to be improved but i've got some good stuff at the moment and my co-host is remotely living somewhere else and just uses like a basic headset and whatnot Sometimes the levels are a bit off if you're recording from Skype or whatever. There's other ways around that, bit long-winded, or you can just let the mastering sort out the main, the kinks in it and, and, and go from there if you want. It just makes it a lot easier for you. Um, it's uh, monetization. Uh, if you want to monetize, you can monetize from wherever you are in the world, much easier, but better ways of doing it. Uh, I don't think I'm there yet with the monetizing. I, I don't like to try and monetize until I know that you've got uh, things that enough people want, want to kind of pay for. Get yourself for good deals. I don't want to make pennies and, and annoy my listeners. So I, I'm not going to monetize just yet. But the opportunity is there when I'm ready. It is there, ready to go. I can do it from through Buzzsprout. They've got affiliate marketing and all this kind of stuff that you can do on there. Um, it distributes everywhere. Like if when you're on Anchor, you hear these people all the time, these podcasters, and they say, um, available anywhere you get your podcasts, right? This is the adverts you hear, anywhere you get your podcasts. Well, if you're on Anchor, that ain't true. Not anywhere you get your podcasts, about five places you get your podcasts, right? <sighs> That's one of the downsides of Anchor. It's free, ain't very good. On Buzzsprout, you're literally everywhere. If you say available everywhere you get your podcast, you're pretty much there. I don't. I'm not sure there's anywhere that you're not. That you're not. If they are, it's not big deal. You know what I mean? Like it's not. Uh, nobody really listens there. You probably lost a couple of listeners. Maybe it's. It's not gonna be that big a deal. It does distribute everywhere, and it does it at a click. And they're all there, pretty much the same. Not waiting days. They might wait half an hour, something like that. They'll be there everywhere. And all these other places you can get reviews from and, you know, it goes Podchaser, it goes Podbean, it goes Listen Notes, iHeartRadio, all of the other ones, Pocket Casts, Podcasts, whatever it is, it's some Android one that a lot of people use. Uh, yeah, it's good. Um, so that's, that's a bonus. 
There is a free version. That's another plus, right? So if you're still not sure and you don't want to pay for anything and you're thinking, oh, Anchor's the only option, it's not. There's a lot of these podcast hosts do free versions and this one's no exception. It's not a very good free version. It gives you about two hours a month and it only lasts for 90 days on the, for the reason probably that I spoke about earlier on with Anchor where they are clogging up because they never delete anything. Well, this will last 90 days if you then, do away with your podcast and you're not interested, you've only made four episodes after 90 days, it's gone, which is good, really, because, you know, if, and if, but if you do want to carry on making them a half an hour a week, you get your two hours, then, you know, eventually when 90 days comes up, if you want them to stay there, you better get into some kind of paid plan. But they are worth it, the paid plans, it's even though if you enjoy it, you're not worth it if you're not making any money and you think it's shit and the only reason you're doing it is to make some money. Just find something else to do because, you know, this is a long, a long trek to make money here, right? Um, and the analytics is the, the, for the top, top for me. Uh, the analytics, I don't know what the analytics are like with uh, some other places like Spreaker and what's the other one called with the L? I don't know. Some, some, I've, lo I've looked into a few of these podcast hosts and a lot of them get good reviews for their analytics I like the analytics on, I wish there was a little bit, because you get spoiled, don't you? So you start to get, oh, you look and you think, oh shit, that looks so much better than the crappy anchor ones. But then you start getting used to it. You think, I wish there was proper towns. I wish there was more specific. I wish there was this, I wish there was that. But the analytics are pretty much everything you need to know. And it, it, you can click straight from Buzzsprout into, because you've claimed all your own podcasts by this point. You can click straight into Apple and check out the Apple data. You can check out the data on Spotify and all the other places go straight from this this site here. You get your uh, what I mentioned earlier on. You get a, a, a web page on Anchor on Buzzsprout that you can just put your episodes on. You can put sound clips. You can make sound clips on Anchor. I've, I've not wrote any of this. It's all coming to me now. I wrote a list of pros here, but I'm forgetting all this other great stuff. Uh, also on Anchor, there's something called Chartable that you can go on, right? So you can just look at your positions in the charts around the world. It doesn't support Anchor. So uh, it doesn't, if your podcast is an Anchor podcast, you'll never know what, where you're charting. If you're doing really well, you won't even know about it. You won't know your reviews. If you go on Chartable and Buzzsprout, you're there. You can see, oh, I'm number 50 this week. Oh, I've got this many reviews. Oh, this twat's give me one star and all this, right? You can do that on Chartable because in your own in your own countries, on Apple uh, reviews, in your own country, you can you can see your own country, who's reviewed you in your own country. You can't see who's reviewed you in other countries, right? But on Chartable, which I'm going off tangent here a little bit, you can see all the countries. The, the reviews will all come through. If you're on Buzzsprout, you can access that, right? Um, so, yeah, that's there's, there's other pros. There's a lot of pros, right? So you can see where, why I'm on there. Uh, the other, the only other thing I'll say is the cons for uh, Buzzsprout, right? And the cons, it's no app. That's my biggest con with it. The thing, the thing I don't like the most. I want an app for Buzzsprout. It would be so much easier just click an app on my phone and check how I'm doing, check how everything's doing, and to be able to maybe add things from the app to the episode or whatever. That'd be good. I, I, you know, Anchor's definitely got the thumbs up on that one over Buzzsprout. It's about the only thing, I think, right? And the other thing is you can schedule your episodes. Now, I like to schedule my episodes in advance. So you can record the episodes, edit them, everything, and then schedule them to go out at a certain time on a certain date. And um, the problem with that is if you want to get really – it's a good feature, but because you, play, you pay a monthly fee for this, you can schedule – I will, sometimes I want to schedule two or three weeks in advance and I just want them to just leave it alone and my episodes will go out when they go out, when they're supposed to go out. But for some reason, it takes your your monthly time away from you from the moment you schedule, not from the moment the show goes out. So I could schedule for three weeks, four weeks time. That will take that hour and a half or whatever the podcast is away from my monthly allowance. Um, so I could schedule five weeks in advance and then they'll over like they'll overcharge me because any any hour you go over is an extra lot like, three dollars or something like that um and they'll charge me the extra because i've scheduled all my shows earlier but i want to do it but then the following month i won't use any of my time because i've already scheduled it so they won't take it from there it's annoying they should schedule it from the time the show actually drops and that is when they take the time away from you. It's annoying. You can't get ahead because I'd rather just have everything scheduled and not sitting on a, a 
a memory stick or on my computer waiting to be scheduled that I could lose or whatever. I've, I've recorded it. I want it. It's in the bank. I want it sitting there scheduled, ready to go. It's just what I'm looking for a problem. Uh, it is annoying um, because I've got, there's going to be a time coming up in the next couple of weeks that I'm going to be scheduling a lot of shows in advance. So I just want to make sure that, that I wanted to mention that. If Buzzsprout ever watched this, it's a crap idea. Change it. But other than that, I like your service. Uh, Anchor, my advice to everybody, the, the verdicts you might get by now, Buzzsprout is definitely a much better service. You pay for it. You do get what you pay for. Um, if you're starting out on a, on a podcast and you're not sure what you do, don't want to spend any money, don't want to buy any equipment, don't want to do anything, go to Anchor, try it out, see what you think about it, see if you like podcasting. Give it a go. Uh, once you've established a podcast, if you're enjoying it and you think, oh, why am I not growing, it's probably because you're still on Anchor. Move. Get off of Anchor, get to Buzzsprout, gets to someone else that can distribute it further for you and that can give you extra features and that can um, distribute it to different platforms for you, for your growth, to help your growth with your podcast. That's about it. Uh, if there's anything else that I've missed or any, if you disagree with me, if the Anchor's the great and Buzzsprout is crap, I, I have my problems with both. I don't, I'm not sitting here advertising either one, really. Just wanted to give my opinion. And um, yeah, if you've got anything to say, comments underneath, please subscribe to this channel if you want more videos like this. There's going to be other videos that I do that are nothing like this. But if you want more podcasting videos, podcasting for beginners, let's call it, because I'm not an expert myself. I'm just telling you what I've learned in a year. Um, uh, please subscribe to this channel and please follow on the social media at Whatcast with a K, as you can see there. Listen to the podcast, Whatcast, and the other podcast, The Daily What. And I will... See you later.